I have seen more watches for women than ever at Basel World, but here is my selection of those that I would happily take home with me. Patek Philippe presented a new moon face for women and this watch I think has it all. It has the impeccable mechanics of this Swiss watch house as well as being just beautiful. Vuitton's new Emprise watch was born at the same time as a jewellery collection of the same name and I think you can see in this watch that it is made as an object to be worn as much as a watch as a jewel. The Dior Wheat Grand Bal has one and a half meters of silk thread on its rotor. Now this silk thread was carefully woven through by a lace maker and what's incredible is that not only does it look beautiful but it's also a functioning part of the watch. Details are everything at Hermes and this year the Cape Cod comes in silver instead of stainless steel. Now this might not sound very exciting but in fact it is quite an interesting change because it brings together the approach to jewellery and using a noble metal such as silver instead of stainless steel. Now this has been possible thanks to a new alloy that is less likely to oxidise. As its name suggests, the Degrasogono Allegra is a watch that will make you smile. It's just bursting with colour and it's what Degrasogono does best. It brings together really high quality jewellery making skills with a whole lot of fun. The Omega Deville Prestige has a really pretty mother of pearl dial which is acid etched with a pattern of butterflies. I just had to include the Jacquet Dross watch because it has an automaton on the dial and it's also a minute repeater and on the hour these little birds start chirping and bring the whole watch dial to life.